What's up guys, I hope you all must be doing great and just a few hours before Qualcomm unveiled their all new Snapdragon 865 chipset along with the Snapdragon 765 chipset which is for the mid-range devices and these new chipsets feature the new 5G and the all new AI technologies. So what are the new things unveiled and what are the new key features of these chipsets? You keep watching this video to find out more. But before we proceed further, you make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Just like every year, Qualcomm introduced the new chipsets in the first week of December at their annual Snapdragon Summit in Hawaii and the two stars of the event were the Snapdragon 865 and the mid-range Snapdragon 765 chipsets. These are the two new chipsets by Qualcomm and no, there's no surprise that Qualcomm only focused on 5G and the AI capabilities. You should not doubt that there will be any other major thing coming in 2020. Now, what's new in the all new Snapdragon 865 processor? So as you can see here, the Snapdragon 865 processor includes the all new Snapdragon X55 5G modem chipset which is not the integrated 5G modem but another independent modem so that's very disappointing for 2020 because people were expecting Qualcomm to at least give the integrated modem but they choose to provide you separate 5G modem for all the new upcoming flagship Android devices. Apart from that, in the mid-range 765 features an integrated 5G option, so Qualcomm decided not to put extra load on the mid-range processor because they believe that unlike previous years, the mid-range processor needs to be more capable. So they decided to go with the integrated 5G chipset in this one, which I think is a good decision. But having an independent modem in the Snapdragon 865 doesn't look really good to me. Rest, they know more. Apart from that, in the event, they also introduced the new Sonic Max, which is their new in-display fingerprint technology. And in this technology, they have increased the surface area on the screen in which you can put the finger. Like, they have increased the surface area to 17 times more. And you can even use the two fingerprints like this at once so i am very excited to test this technology and what are your views about all these changes and technologies you also tell me in the comment section below rest all the things are not presented today and you will have to wait until december 4 because they will give all the detailed features of the new snapdragon chipsets and many mobile manufacturers were also present like xiaomi and nokia and they have promised their all new 5G devices as early as quarter one of 2020. So I am also excited for that one too. And I also hope that you all will be excited too, just like me. And this was just it, a quick overview of all the things that were announced at the Snapdragon event. And I will keep you all informed of what's coming in the future as well. So if you like my work and would like to see more videos like this in the future as well hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon as well and i hope you like this video and i will be also curious to share more exciting tech videos like this in the future also for the time being goodbye guys and i will see you all in the next one